Classical Music Readers, Level 4. The Works of Claude Debussy. Copyright 2023, Seed Learning. All rights reserved. Who was Claude Debussy? On August 22, 1862, the French composer Claude Debussy was born in Paris, France. His parents, Manuel Achille Debussy and Victorine, had five children, Claude being the oldest. Debussy's most famous works include Claire de Lune, 1890, Prelude à la Prémidie d'un Fond, 1894, and The Cakewalk, 1908. Although his work is enjoyed around the world, it wasn't always like this. It took a while before his equals began to appreciate and enjoy his work. In 1870, Paris came under attack during the Franco-Prussian War. Debussy was eight years old. His mother took him and his sister to stay with their aunt in Cannes, in the south of France. She believed they would be safer in Cannes. While Debussy was in Cannes, his aunt paid for him to have piano lessons. A year later, the family returned to Paris. By this time, Debussy was showing a lot of musical talent. Debussy loved playing the piano, and his parents thought he would become a piano genius. He was so talented that he was admitted to the Conservatoire de Paris, a respected music college, when he was only 10 years old. At first, Debussy didn't do well at music college, but not because he was bad at music. His professors were always unhappy with Debussy for his style of playing music. Even his music composition teacher was unhappy with his composing. In 1880, while still a student, Debussy got a summer job playing the piano in the house of Nadezhda von Meck, a wealthy Russian businesswoman who often gave money to support the arts. She hired him for private performances for her family and friends. She also arranged for Debussy to give her children piano lessons. Wanting to help Debussy, she sent some of his compositions to her friend, the famous composer Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. He was not very impressed and was very critical of Debussy's work. While Debussy was at college, he entered the Prix de Rome competition three times. The first two times he entered, he didn't get through because the judges didn't understand his musical style. They didn't think his music was good enough. Debussy made changes to his music style to please the judges, and on his third attempt in 1884, they finally awarded him the prize. The piece of music that helped him win the competition was L'Enfant Prodigue, The Prodigal Son. The award for winning this competition was a free place in a four-year course at the Académie des Beaux Arts in Rome. To attend the school, he had to move to Italy. Debussy used this opportunity to further his studies in music. While he was in Italy, he found the people bad-mannered, the food terrible, and his accommodation dirty. He was often depressed and found it very difficult to concentrate and compose music. Debussy found that he didn't like Italian opera especially the operas by Donizetti and Verdi. Inspiration eventually came to Debussy during one of the regular visits of composer Franz Liszt to the college. 
Liszt often played music for the students, and his work gave Debussy new ideas. After struggling for months to compose, Debussy finally presented four pieces of music to the Academy. They were still not impressed with his work and scolded him for writing music that was very strange and impossible to perform. He returned to Paris in 1887. Sweet Bergamask, 1905. Back in Paris, Debussy further developed his personal style of music. He continued to compose various works. One well known piece from this period was the Sweet Bergamask, a work in four movements. Debussy began composing this piano suite in 1890 at the age of 28. After many changes, he finally published it in 1905. The third movement of this suite, called Claire de Lune, Moonlight, has become one of the composer's most famous works for piano. Debussy named Claire de Lune after a poem of the same name. The poem describes birds singing by the light of the moon. Claire de Lune has been used many times in modern popular culture. It appeared in the 2001 movie Ocean's Eleven, the 2013 movie American Hustle, and the 2015 anime Your Lie in April. An electronic version by Japanese musician Isao Tomita. Featured in the closing ceremony of the 2020 Summer Olympics. Prelude à la p r é m i d i d'une femme, 1894. In 1894, Debussy composed Prelude à la p r é m i d i d'un Faun, known in English as Prelude to the Afternoon of a Faun. It was one of his most famous works. The poem of the same name by Stéphane Malarme inspired him to write this piece. A faun is a creature from Greek and Roman mythology and is half human, half goat. The story is about a faun who has just woken up from his afternoon sleep. He talks about all the creatures he meets during the afternoon. Famous musicians, such as the French composer and conductor Pierre Boulez, considered this piece to be the beginning of modern music. However, it did not go down well with his critics, who said that it was too musically unusual. They said the faun must have had a terrible afternoon. In 1912, this piece of music was used as the basis for a ballet. Children's Corner, 1908. In 1908, Debussy composed this six movement suite, which he dedicated to his daughter, Claude Emma. The theme of the suite is toys coming to life. Despite the title, this suite isn't music for children. Debussy wanted adults to experience memories of toys and childhood as they listened to it. Unlike Debussy's other works, each of the six movements in this suite has an English title. The six movements are Dr. g r e t u s Ad Parnassum, Jimbo's Lullaby, Serenade for the Doll, The Snow is Dancing, The Little Shepherd, and The Cakewalk.
The sixth movement, Cakewalk, is the most often heard piece from the suite. The Cakewalk was a type of dance competition from America in the 1800s. The winner received a prize of cake. This piece has a very modern style. While he was writing it, Debussy was influenced by ragtime music, which was gaining popularity at the time. One reason why it is still well known is that it is easy to play. As you listen to this energetic music, try to imagine toys dancing in a cakewalk. Debussy died in 1918 at the age of 56 and was buried in Paris. In a short life, he achieved many things.